Welcome back to Backcountry Amateur Radio, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is KI7WJP, Eric. And um, I want to thank Radio Oddity and Zygu again for letting me have this X6100 for a nice little period of time. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about digital modes. And uh, it's, it is a pretty easy digital mode radio. I mean, it just, for me, it's set up rather quickly. I didn't have any any issues with it. Um, I was really happy with that. Within just a few minutes, I was transmitting uh, JS8 call and the signal was getting out. So what you need to do is go to the Radio Oddity website, go to the support tab for Zygu and download the cable driver for the X6100. Uh, once it's downloaded, you'll need to unzip or extract all the files. And from there, you'll be able to um, open up the file called, or the installer file, which allows you to install the driver. Uh, I did this without the cable connected, and then I did it once more with the cable connected, just to be sure. So ideally, I think one time before you connect the cable should probably do it. Now, I'm, I have to say I need to reference the ham radio crash course, Josh, ki 7 and AZ does a great job of explaining the settings in FT8 and JS8 call to get this radio to work properly. And I'll put a link in that vi for that video in the description below. So um, what I did initially was I connected a dummy load and then I connected to the computer. Um, dummy load just, you know, new radio, um, figured why not just be a little bit safe and, and have it not connected to the antenna. And then I turned down the transmit power to 0.1 watts. Um, that allowed me a little bit more control over how the device was functioning while I experimented with this digital mode for the first time on this radio. So I opened up JS8 call and went into the settings. And right here, pretty much everything's straightforward. And I'll, I'll put that in the link to, to below for the ham radio crash course video. I'll show you all these settings. And it's, it is really straightforward. I mean, nothing really out of the ordinary. The only thing is to make sure that you're using the one Zygu rig in the drop down menu. Rig needs to say Zygu. And once you have that going, everything else will seem pretty logical if you use digital modes in the past. Um, and then testing the, the cat control and then testing PTT was just a breeze with this radio. Um, I do have to say, going into the audio, I did forget that initially. You do need to make sure it has, it has the USB audio, and that is paired with the radio. What is nice is one cable, one USB-C cable to the radio from the computer controls everything. There is no TNC, nothing you need to worry about externally. So I decided now it's time to just test it and see if I can get the signal out into the world, and uh, I did. You can see transmitting here. This is my first attempt, and I used, uh, I forgot how much power I used, but uh, it did really well. I got out, and this is on my home antenna, not my fueled antenna, but I was using internal battery power. So keep that in mind. It was somewhere less than 5 watts. At any rate, I think that setting up this radio for digital at home is just exceptionally easy, and I would do it again. And based off the ease of using this radio for digital, that alone is a great reason to have this radio. Um, on HF, it just does so well. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in and watching. And please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see more, uh, please let me know in the comments below. See you down the trail.